that a 13-year-old boy charged with the unthinkable. He was back in court today as we wait for the judge's decision. Derek Rosa is charged with murdering his own mother as she slept. His attorneys are trying to convince the judge to send him back to juvenile detention until his trial. Local 10's Leanne Motohong reports on what happened in court. You purposely went for the murder? When you mm -hmm. purposely went for the murder? Okay. Was there a lot of blood after? The lead detective investigating the murder of Arena Garcia testifies during a hearing for her son and accused killer, 13-year-old Derek Rosa. Yes, on October 12 at 6 p.m., he did make searches on Google. Okay. He typed in the word, the carotid artery image diagram. What is the best place to stab someone? Is a small knife good for killing? The judge will decide whether the teen is moved to a juvenile-only facility okay. as he awaits trial. Rosa is accused of stabbing his mother to death back in October. He's been held in a juvenile wing of the Metro West Detention Facility since being charged as an adult. Any mental health concerns? Um, no, no mental health concerns with um, <coughs> Mr. Rosa. A corrections corporal testified via Zoom that because Rosa is a high-profile inmate, he is kept alone in a cell and supervised 24 hours a day. He's been able to make some calls to family, have access to schooling, and have minimal interaction with one other inmate. Basketball, they play catch together, a little football. A psychologist with Jackson Health Systems Correction Health Services says Derek has ADHD and that another doctor tested him on the autism spectrum. Mr. Rosa, like all the juveniles, receive routine assessment and care. And that testimony from the lead detective continues right now. In fact, he just testified that Arena Garcia was stabbed 46 times with wounds all over her body. Lots of shocking details revealed in court today. Testimony will continue tomorrow. Reporting live in Miami, Leanne Morejon, Local 10 News. Uh, such disturbing details. Leanne, thank you.